Listen up, everybody. It's been two weeks since my last manga. So you got to earn the custody of me, Officer Magani. So, one person in the room say your name. Uh, I don't know what to say. Well, that's okay. Just think carefully, because if you don't know what to say, then... Here, how about you sit over there, uh... Whatever your name is. I don't even know. Now, see here, sir. That wasn't nice to say... Okay, I'm sorry, uh, 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 but I don't know what to say. What? No, sir, sir. <sighs> That'll teach him. Got him. Now, if anyone else tries to come around, Officer Dean will catch them. I know he will. <gasps> Viewers, you're back. Yeah, I know it doesn't seem like I left the camera at all, honestly. So, hello everyone, second cast of phones. You have me 2023 here. And all of you know the four options to like, comment, subscribe, hit bell notifications, and notify for more content on the channel. Now, all of you must be happy by this point. Uh, if some of you aren't, I mean, that's okay. Maybe, uh, you had other things to do. But, listen to this. This manga, this new one... It's been two weeks since I've uploaded a manga. It hasn't been that long since I've uploaded a Resident Evil story. Alright. I already still got this. Ugh, anyway. Two weeks, in my opinion, has been quite a while. So, you know what? I decided to give all of you a special treat, including special viewers out there. Um... You can see the name of the title, and yes, I am putting the rating inside of the title of this video, and from now on, too. Because I think it's a good reason to do, um, say, if someone, little kids were watching, and be like, Oh yeah, Mommy, look at this, it's so cool. No, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Not at all, friends. Uh, yeah, so this is actually the uncensored version of this new manga. And what I mean by uncensored is language. Obviously I can't censor the blood or anything. I mean I could if I want to. But. I'm not going to. Because then it will be a black screen. And you won't know what's going on. But hopefully you guys. Enjoy this one. Alright. Now there's some dialogue that. I didn't put in there. Because I was having too much fun making this one. Like all my other ones. Uh, so if you see no other words on the screen with the character in that part in time and image. That's probably just because that it's cut content. Now there are some scenes that uh, I actually wanted to put in there and then remembered. Oh yeah I just finished this so on and so forth. I wanted to put a really awesome scene at the end. Uh, in my head, it was really awesome when I made it, but there were supposed to be more things in it of fighting. Um, so yeah, enjoy this manga, and um, I guess I'll see you at the end of the video, or in the next video, if I forget. So stay tuned, viewers, and if I forget, peace out and bye-bye, and enjoy the manga. Let's go. And obviously, I'll be voicing the characters, too. Season 1. Psycho Code F3K69 Chapter 1 The Vile Why did he even say that? On our breakup? I mean, who does he think he is? Honestly, Ethan is a one-minded guy that I never really did understand as a kid, but I get that he's going through some hard times. I get it. But... He didn't have to break up with me over that. Ugh. Man. I'm such an idiot. But I should talk to Jester. Maybe he'll understand why I broke up with her. Honestly. Maybe he'll understand. But if he doesn't, then it's whatever. Go <gasps> A pink mist? <laughs> Two minutes later. Oh, it's you, Ethan. You okay? Honestly, you, uh... 
You just don't look so good. You look like you're heartbroken or something. But hey, if I'm your friend and you can open up. So please, tell me what's going on. Well, man, you, you see... It's Emma. She, uh... She didn't really go through with it too well. I told her a bunch of things I shouldn't have. And I just... I don't know. I, I felt like breaking up with her because I was so angry at the things she was saying too. Anyways, I don't know how you feel about that jester, but... Um... I, I just wanted to look for some advice. Honestly. If you don't have any, then I can just go back home. Nah, man. It's okay. You can sit down. Here, let's talk about it. As I told Jester about Emma, and that I got angry about the breakup, he just said to deal with it. I thought he was going to say something else. Well, I, I knew he understood. I was happy, but when I got back home... A pink mist had filled the entire house and the room I was in. It changed my life forever. Gah! My head hurts. So much it hurts. I think I'm starting to see double visions. I'm starting to understand a lot more things clearly now. <laughs> Why am I laughing? I'm going insane. As I inhaled some of the pink smoky mist from a broken vial called F3K, I became and felt different. Can you hear us, Ethan? It's time. It's time to let your true self out all your hatred and everyone on your friends. And most of everybody else, too. Your name shall forever be changed. <laughs> I feel different. <laughs> Time to kill, Mr. Psycho. 3K. Code 6938. I agree. I must kill. Chapter 1. Done. Chapter 2, The Terror, two hours later. Why is the TV on, and where is everyone? I thought Mom was supposed to be home by now. It just goes to show that she probably lied. I don't understand. I, I just, I really don't. Why, why, why did she lie? Or maybe she didn't. You know what, maybe she's just running late. Now it's your turn, Jester. One God's name, what a a big hand just came out of the TV. No, stay back, please. You don't have to do this. What are you? <laughs> oh. Ah. It hurts. Ah. Why? Uh. Can somebody come help me from this? <laughs> Help somebody! This power is awesome. Must kill more. And I control it all as if I was outside. <laughs> so much more to kill. The next day, I... I didn't know what to say from my own actions. Why I became this way. Why it was like this. All I could do was have fun killing people. I tried to stop myself, but it just felt so right. Honestly, I don't even understand what had happened to me. It was like a blackout then. I felt different. Oh, Ethan, hi. I need to talk to you. Sorry if I startled you. Yeah, you did. Wait. It's Emma. What? What would she possibly need to talk about anyway? I thought she was mad at me. I just, I just thought she was mad at me. Wait, what am I even saying? It'd be best to kill her anyway. 
Ethan, I need to talk to you. Huh? Uh, wait, what about? Huh? Oh, it's just Emma, but I thought she was mad at me. I don't understand. I is she still mad at me? Or wait, you know what? It'd probably just be best to kill her anyway. <laughs> what do you need and... Wait a minute. How did you get my house? Come on. Ugh. So what is it, Emma? It'd probably just be best to kill her off anyway, without her even knowing. How I got in isn't important. Shut up, and yes, I'm still... I'm still mad about the breakup, but it, that doesn't matter anymore to me. So please just shut up and listen. It's Jester. Where is he? Where's my brother, Ethan? Where is he at? When I got home, Mom was... Actually dead on the bed from overdosing from pills. Dad didn't get home, so something happened to him, too. And I saw blood on the living room floor, leading to the TV. It scares me. It's like he was here, then he was gone. So I ask again, where is my brother, Ethan? <laughs> Chapter 2, done. Chapter 3, Emma's Relief of Escaping Psycho. You need to run, Emma. Now I'm trying to warn you. There's something in me that I can't hold back. I... I... I uh, it's taking control. I can't control it. You need to run now. Please. What? What is this BS? What is this bullshit you're going on about? Honestly, just run now! Why do you want me to run? I ask you to run unless you hate your life. Two minutes later, as I kicked Emma out of the window in the living room, I held myself back and I, I told her to run. She wouldn't listen, so I had to kick her out of the window. It was at that moment that I wasn't human anymore. I could tell from the way she cut off my arm I didn't feel any pain. I'm I'm outside in a dark forest. I must have rolled down the hill, but what is he? His eyes changed. He's not Ethan anymore, so what is he? Damn, the glass. It, it, Cut my face up. I think I'll be okay though. My nosebleed is just from something that I hit on down rolling into this forest. It's just too dark that I can't I can't see anything. I need to stay away from Ethan, honestly. He's dangerous. I know that now. God, I can't see a thing in the dark. Huh? Splash. <laughs> Oh, huh. glad I can see in the dark. I don't even know at all. No, I, I just don't know where she's at now. But I might want to avoid this muddy quicksand. Oh, would you look at that? Didn't even realize it. My arm being cut off doesn't even hurt. I can feel myself. I can feel myself of humanity slipping away. Feels good, actually. Huh? I need to regenerate my arm now. <laughs> oh! oh, that felt good. Yeah. Regeneration. You need to stop this, Ethan. You need to stop trying. To just stop. Just stop. Now. You need to stop just trying to... Let me take control of your body. I can't let you do that. Oh, that's too bad. Because I've already taken control. You're no longer a human. You're a monster. And monsters die sometime, don't they? Mm -mm. Splash. Whoosh. Two hours later. Daisai! Daisai! What? Was that mom? Wait, I heard knocking at the door. Luckily, I haven't went back up to my room yet. 
Honestly, I, I, mom should be back at any time, but that didn't sound like her. Dave, so I opened the door. <gasps> Damn, Emma. God, what happened to you? Are you okay? What happened? You look sad. You must be cold. Please, just, just tell me what happened. You need to get inside here. I, I have a shower in, in the back that you can use, but... Just please tell me what happened. Uh, I know you said I can come in, but can I actually come in and talk? A after I take a shower to wash all of this mud off of me, please. I I'm just very cold. I feel kind of out of it. I've been hearing voices in my head too, but hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Sure. Come in. The, like I said, the shower is this way. Here. You're gonna need a towel and everything like that. Hope she's okay. But... What does she need to talk about? And she looked scared and sad. I honestly don't know what's happening, but... I hope she'll be okay. Hopefully that nice shower will actually just... Lighten the mood of everything. Hopefully. Chapter 3, done. Season 1, done. Raid PG-13. Season 2, Psycho Code 3K69, Emily Witch. Chapter 4, Emma's Power Awakens. Two hours later. Hope she's okay. She's been in there for hours now. I honestly hope she'll be alright. Oh boy, that, that shower. I'm relieved. Now that I need to talk to Desoy, De I, I need to talk to him now, but honestly, it just, I don't feel too good. I thought showers were supposed to help you. Eh, it's probably just a stomach ache. Everything will probably be okay. Damn, but what was Ethan? Huh? Nobody loves you, Emma Lauren. What? What is this voice? What is this? I can't move my body at all. <gasps> Honestly, why can't I move it? Why can't I move my body? Wait, my eyes are glancing over at the mirror by its own. What is that face? Emma, embrace my power. Now, the evil is coming and you must stop it. Stop it! What What do you mean? I don't understand. What are you? Gah! Ah, my head! Ah! You must kill Psycho. That is the only way. Ah! Ah! Ow! Gah! My head! Ah! What is this? What is this flowing inside of me? <laughs> Do you understand now, Emma? You can become much more than that. A pathetic, little, 18-year-old girl. A young adult, huh? Doesn't seem like much, but now that you've embraced my power, hopefully you shall enjoy it. But you won't become evil at all that much, I can promise you. I am... The witch. Hmm. <laughs> this power that courses through my veins, my entire body, just feels good. I can sense the evil is nearby. Knock, knock. Open up. Oh! Is it mom? <laughs> what? <laughs> You thought it was. <sighs> Ethan. Time to die. Ethan is no more. Get away from my home now. Where is my mom? Right here. Huh? What? No. That, that, that can't be. What did you do to her? <laughs> no. No. Ah! 
What did you do to my mom, Ethan? Day soy, stay back now. Huh? It's my turn to play psycho. Emma. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. You have to stay back. That's not Ethan anymore. That is Psycho. And Psycho, you're gonna die. I have to stop you. Or else this evil will continue onward. And I will not be able to stop you. I will not die. Not here. Not now. Not ever. Hmm. So it's a challenge you accept, huh? Emma? You don't have to do this, Emma. You know, he's right. So you're the witch, huh? So let's do it. Come on, fight me. No, Day Soy, I do have to do this. But with much pleasure, I will fight you. Chapter 4, done. Chapter 5, Psycho vs. Emma Witch. Two minutes later. <laughs> oh, how I've beaten you up. <clears throat> Can't move. Emma, please help me. Get away from him, you prick. You unseen prick, you have to get away from him. Don't touch him. Don't touch Daysoy, he's the only friend I've got left. You can't kill him, too. Goodbye, Daysoy. Huh? I said goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Die, scum. <laughs> no, you, you monster. Huh? <coughs> stop. 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 Stop it, Emma. Okay, I'm sorry. I give up. No, stopping it isn't enough. Not even cutting up your face is enough. No. I will end you, Psycho. Now I end you. Wait. Damn you, Emma. Holy crap. You don't have to kill me. <laughs> My blade... Will. Huh? No, this is wrong. This is wrong. I, oh, I can't kill him. <laughs> you fool. Just run, you little girl. Your Emma. Your fear. Insanity. You're scared. You're scared that this power is going to take you over, aren't you? As I ran out of the house and knocked out Psycho, what enraged me to turn my arm... Into such a blade. Was Psycho killed in Daysoy? Or so I thought anyway. But using my life spam. Using this power of the witch. Not only just my life spam. But it did use some of my life spam up. To kill me. But as I learned that this power was all that I had left in me. And that it was killing me. It also made me pregnant. Why is all of this happening to me? I just, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Please, I just, I just want this nightmare to end. Somebody. Help me, I beg. I don't want to die, nor leave my kid alone. Two days later. <sighs> Emma, I hope you're safe, honestly. You're the only friend I have left. I know this, but I need answers. I made it to Eric and Desoy, who is me anyway. Man, I feel like I'm losing my sanity, but I still have a bunch of it left. Anyways, I made it to Eric's house, and I hope Emily is here as well at home. Chapter 5 done. Chapter 6, The Talk Beyond Good and Evil Between Daysoy, Eric, and Emily, 80 hours later. So that's why this is happening, huh? Why? Why did this happen? Why did you do this? Yes, yes, yes. Calm down, Emily, it's okay. But it's not okay with me. Yes, Daysoy, we know that. And the only way to help her is to kill her. I'm sorry. Yes, we're the ones 
that made that vial. We didn't expect it to go to Ethan. Or so you say, anyway. How do I know I can trust you guys as friends? You can't. And I can sense a tension coming from you that is very dangerous. Not even I can control my own sister. <laughs> hmm, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? Alright, well you left me no choice. And if things weren't too grim already, I heard what they said. It began with a test tube of pink mist for Ethan. Or for anyone at that. I, I didn't care any longer about that. Just about Emma. But I know that this was all Annalie's fault. So with my rage, I had pulled out my lighter, strapped them to a chair, and I had killed them by a fire in their house, burning in the basement. They died because they're bad. Well, or were anyway. I need to go to Emma. Two hours later, at Hyongi workshop, a fight between two. Oh my God! No, 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 no! Why is this happening? Why, why is any of this happening? I don't understand. I don't understand why any of this is happening. Don't kill her. You can't. You can't kill her. No, please. I need to save her. <sighs> Do you admit, Emma, that you lost? It's clear that I just chopped off one of your arms and your two legs. So now you'll bleed out here, right? And we can finally call a truce and end this. No. <laughs> it's not you that shall die. Well, it is you, but... I think you should look behind you, honestly. Huh? As I saw Emma laying down on the ground, on the rooftop of this workshop, it had taken me... 27 hours to get here, but I didn't care. My legs and my whole entire body were hurting, but as I looked at her, she didn't say anything to me. She just looked at me with a weird glance in her eyes as if she was dying. <sighs> you know what? It hurts, but feeling death is kind of good, honestly. No, Emma. Damn it. Why did this happen? You can't say that. Wait, you're pregnant? How the hell did that happen? This is too much to take in. Why did any of this happen? <laughs> Why did any of this happen? Indeed, that's a good question, actually, Desoy. <coughs> I can feel myself dying. It's, it's scary in a way, but... I hope this kid inside of me... Will live to have a good life. You know? You can't say that. No. You're going to see your kid grow up. And none of this would have ever happened. If I didn't turn down Ethan. About the breakup. That doesn't matter now. You kicked him off the roof basically. He's dead. He's dead now. No. No more talking. You can't. You can't talk. No. You're losing too much blood. Damn it. After I had to put a bullet in Ethan's head, or aka Psycho, as she said, I kicked his body off of the roof of this workshop. He fell down a hill, then broke his neck. But then I heard Emma say, I'll name you Emore, Emily, Kotimi. But when I turned around, she said to me, I named her Kiyoshi. <laughs> then she let me hold Kiyoshi. Then as Emma had died, I didn't know what to do. Her power and soul, I could see it. I could see it all for some reason. Her power and her soul went into her own daughter's body as an orphan. So with myself, 
I was sad to know what to correctly do. So, as of two days later, I gave Kiyoshi away to a home to an orphanage that I did know of some good people. But hopefully she'll grow up to be alright there. Meanwhile, did I do the right thing? <sighs> I hope I did do the right thing. Well, maybe I'll see you, Kiyoshi, Ren, Amashi. Grow up, make friends, and listen to your mom inside of you. And use her power if Psycho comes back. Chapter 6, Season 2, done, rated PG-13. Final Season, Season 3, Psycho, Code FK-69, Reincarnations. New... Chapter 7-1, sorry. New Life and School for Kiyoshi Ranamashi, Chapter 7-1. So this is my school? Well, it's very big, but it just it took so long to get here. You know, hopefully they have a bed in there that I can honestly rest on. <sighs> if anybody tries to give me any damn thing, I'll just I'll just avoid it. Classes start tomorrow anyway, so this this shouldn't be too long, right? Yagi High School. Two minutes later. Dorm room twelve three. Oh, so you're the new kid, huh? Well, uh, welcome, Ren. That is your name, right? It's Ren, right? Yeah, I wouldn't honestly call me that, but, you know. Yeah, so anyways, you can just call me this, Kiyoshi. So yeah, I'm Kiyoshi. Nice to meet ya. So, why are there dorms here? Oh, no one told you that? Well, I guess no one did. Everybody's at home. Wait, how did you get into school anyway? Well, you know, that doesn't matter, but honestly, I'm just tired. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but I just need some damn sleep, honestly. So, because class starts tomorrow, I'll say again, can I sleep? It's just been a long day for me, honestly. Yes, you're able to sleep, but why are there black markings on your face? Oh, you don't need to know that. You don't need to know that. They're just scars that I grew up with. I don't know why they're on my face. I don't even know why my hair matches my eyes. But I do know that these glasses can help me see just fine. Okay, well that's, um, that's nice to know. Well, hopefully you have a good sleep. Well, enjoy your nap. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll like it here. <sighs> you too. Good night. Honestly, some people just don't have the audacity or the nerve to just leave people alone. At least I'm thinking all this in my head anyway. As I laid down and the night grew very dark, I heard a voice say, You're not alone anymore. Then, as I heard... And felt scared. I heard this voice. I had went to sleep knowing my life would basically become hell. And I think I was right about it. <laughs> Even if it's just my soul and her. It is nice to see my own daughter with my own eyes. Chapter 7-1 done. Chapter 8-2 A Feeling of Pain and Fear Oh, so you must be Mr. Kilame, right? I'm not in any type of trouble, am I? And, yeah, I, I probably guess you know about my past already, what I've done, and so on and so forth, right? No, you're not in trouble at all. Miss Kiyoshi, but it seems you're in class 2-1. I hope you have a good day. But, 
stay away from that kid that you've met today. I didn't, I didn't meet him today. I actually met him last night. He didn't say his name, though. Just stay away from him, please. Uh, okay. School halls. 12.01 a.m. Hey, Kiyoshi. Huh? The principal probably already told you this. But hear me out. Can we please be friends? It's so lonely. I always get picked on here. Well, that sounds like a skill issue to me. I'm sorry, Kishi. But I have to go. I'm not feeling too well. Huh? What was with her? She ran away in such a hurry. Man, I guess I'll never have any friends. Wait, huh? Huh. There you are, Kishi. <laughs> you ever know what pain ever feels like? <laughs> Two minutes later, schoolyard. Wait, what is this? What? Why? Why? Why in God's name are you? I can hear you in my head all the time and I can see you. So please tell me. Please, I just need to know. Please tell me. What are you? Huh? huh? Feel the power within you, my loved daughter, Kiyoshi. It might be hard to actually admit to you, but... Well, you'll find out soon enough who I am. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> this, I can use my mom's soul as a power. <laughs> I shall eliminate the evil here. And the evil will be eliminated. But just thank God that I haven't lost myself with this over-wretched power of a curse. Huh? As I walked back in the school, I saw my only friend. Or at least he may have been my friend. I saw him bleeding on the floor. Kishi. <sighs> and I saw the enemy. This swine of a person. A reincarnation of my mom's friend, Ethan. I know that his soul had taken over this young boy's body. And I would do nothing. I would do anything. To stop this. Swine! Get away from Kishi. How many people have you killed? Ugh. Fourteen. Well, not fourteen, but seventy-four most. Most are dead in this school, but you're next. Ugh. Leave her alone, damn it. Huh? I gotcha. Wait. What? How are you not bleeding? How are you not dead? <laughs> that didn't hurt. <laughs> it almost hurt, but all you did was break my glasses. <laughs> What? Oh my god, I don't even recognize her anymore. Hmm. Now, Kishi, why would you say that? You know... I know why it was made. The F3K vial that corrupted your mind. It was popular. And it was to make one's mind to kill. Well... It all ends now, doesn't it? I'll show you the true feeling of pain and terror that you could ever imagine. Chapter 8-2 done. Chapter 9 final. The end of Psycho and Kiyoshi Emma Wench. As half of the school had burnt down from his own power, everybody had left 
even Kishi. He didn't come for me. He didn't want to save me. So he just used me, right? Well, I realized that we were just reincarnations. And as I was on the school roof, or at least threw him up there, he came down and punched me to the courtyard. And I turned into a monster that I never thought would happen to me. For a few minutes, anyway. Ah, I see your real form, Emily. Time to die. <laughs> I can use a stem. I can use it. I can't control it. <laughs> I don't think I'll win unless... Wait, what in God's name? Get over here, you swine. No. <sighs> well, at least I've returned into my human form. Uh, I, I, I can't. <sighs> I fell on the ground. I'm so useless, it's almost pointless to fight him. Damn it. I can't move my body. Is this really going to be the end for me? Is this really it? I, I won't lose. No, I can't. Well, I win already. Huh. A chainsaw. How interesting. I'll use this. Huh? Am I gonna die here? Well, I do not accept. I don't accept dying here. How the hell is she alive? I just slit her neck open with the chainsaw. I made her stand up. I don't understand this. What? How is she alive? I don't understand. What is she? <laughs> you know it's time to die now, Psycho. I can feel myself being choked. By what? I... I... I uh, <laughs> remember, this is your fault that this is happening. Die. Stop, stop, stop it. Well, as I killed Psycho with the powers of invisibility hands of the unnatural human strength and supernatural powers that my mom still has, I could feel myself getting blurry. I felt a feeling of pain in my neck. Like a tear that was ripping it apart. But after that, I had died. I was in some strange place after that. Uh, now you can be with me, my daughter, in the afterlife. Two months later. What the? Where am I? What is this? Mom, is that you? Is that you? How am I alive? I thought I died. <sighs> it really is you, Mom. It's actually good to see you face to face, even though... Yeah, just... I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Welcome to the afterlife, my daughter, Kiyoshi. I am Emma, your mom. <sighs> it's actually nice to see you. I never thought I'd get to see you in person, actually. God, I'm so happy. Even if we are dead. Entire manga done. Final chapter done. Entire manga rated PG-13. Well, my viewers, it, uh, it took quite some time to make this manga. It took a little bit of time to actually come up with any ideas like this. A PG-13 panga that, well, you know, didn't have, well, much killing in it. But it had an interesting story. I honestly hope you guys enjoy this. And thanks to a special viewer that this manga actually happened that I talked to off camera. Thanks to a special viewer that this actually happened. 
Because like I said, it's been only two weeks ever since the last manga that I made. Well, if all of you have enjoyed this new latest manga, I hope you guys did. This took a lot of creativity, thought, and mind. All the words that weren't on paper, I actually had to put into just the scenes that it was meant for. That's what we call scrap content, okay? That is what we call scrap content. So, if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit bell notifications, and notify for more content on the channel. The four options in general, you already know them. And this has been Suck Unikai with Stuff Fun with the Anime 2023 here. And as always, I'll see all of you in the next video, viewers. Peace out. Have a great time out there. And bye bye. And remember, some legends are true out there.